Hi, it's Abby again. And as you remember, we are both part of the College of Communication, Fine Arts and Media. I hope that you're loving your classes this semester. I hope you're being creative. I hope you're thinking critically. And I hope that you're meeting new friends along the way. I want to take a minute to talk about something real and important. And it's the idea of discouragement along your college journey. I'd like to offer you a few tips and tricks today to help you continue with your college journey even when things might get a little tough. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And I promise you, I have seen students recover from a variety of different unexpected challenges. Just follow these tips and we'll get you there. Number one, student belonging. Did you know that if you have friends on campus, that if you belong to student organizations, and if you develop relationships with your professors, you are far more likely to ask for help when you need it. You're also far more likely just to feel like part of the C family, part of the campus community. So if you haven't done so already, I really urge you to reach out and try to meet some new people. Number two, communication. This is what I see over and over again, and I am guilty of doing this too. When I was in college, I remember a time I had to miss class because I was out of town and I got a flat tire. I didn't know what to do. I was ashamed and I was embarrassed. So I did nothing. What I should have done is emailed my professor immediately. I should have told her what happened and told her that I am committed to the work and I'm excited to get to it when I get back to campus. Number three, self-care. It is so important that you dismiss this myth that all nighters are a good thing. They are not. You need to sleep. There are so many different ways that we want you to take care of yourself. You need to sleep, eat right, exercise, have recreation time, have family time. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I just need some quiet time to sit by myself. One thing that you can do is talk to your academic advisors. Are you taking too many credits? Do you need to reduce course load? Maybe you need to spread out your credits on different days of the week, or even consider one of our amazing online courses. When you learn online, you can sit at home in your most comfortable chair and do your lessons that way. It's a great way to save some mental energy from coming to campus by learning online. These are just three of the tips that I wanna offer you today, but the most important one is, remember, you are part of the C family. You're one of our students. We're so happy that you're here and we are so excited for the day when you finally walk across the Baxter stage and accept your diploma. Let's do it together. If you start to feel like you're having any questions or doubts, reach out. You can contact me anytime or any of your professors. We can't wait to hear from you.